Life will sometimes leave us longing. Yet the truth is that it is because of the death of our pain and the length of our struggle that sometimes God seems to be out of your reach. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Death, destruction, divorce, and other debilitating dilemmas will often feel one, leave one's heart feeling empty and devoid of the divine. These arid death conditions leave us desperate for a drink from God's eternal fountain, the only source able to quench our thirst and fill our empty cups. That's why this fast comes at a good time. I know it might be difficult for some people, but you have to understand that some of us are so caught up in what's going on in our lives that our hang-ups, our misguided intentions, our habits and our desires, our very flesh block the only source of water that we need, the only source of water that is possible to quench our thirst, the only source of water that is able to keep us because of our flesh, we can't even get to God. It's time that we move some things out of the way so that we can see God. I stop out here to tell you today to let you know that your longing will come to an end. You will be filled. You will be made whole. And your soul will be satisfied. However, in order to satisfy your soul and to satisfy my soul, we must seek God. It is only when we seek God that our emptiness will be filled. It's only when we seek God that our burdens will be lifted. It's only when we seek God that peace will come and calm the raging sea. It's only when we seek God that Judea. Yeah. Here it is that he has been anointed king over all 